हेलो एवरीवन यू आर वाचिंग केमिस्ट्री पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू बाय शिखा बोल आई एम शिखा बोल टुडे आई गॉन अ डिस्कस विद यू व्हाट इज केमिस्ट्री व्हाट इज द थिंग्स एंड हाउ यू विल सी केमिस्ट्री इन ईच एंड एवरीथिंग ओके सो फॉर दैट वी कैन सी दैट द केमिस्ट्री वी हैव एक्सपीरियंस ओके वी हैव मैनी एक्सपीरियंस इन आर डेली लाइफ विच आर नथिंग बट अ केमिस्ट्री ओके जस्ट that experiences which you don't notice till now after watching my this video i hope you get relate that experiences with this chemistry so there we can say chemistry is a big part of our everyday life we find chemistry in daily life in the food we eat in the air we breathe the chemicals we use for cleaning our emotions and every object we can see or touch in this whole universe is nothing but a chemistry some common chemistry may be obvious but other might surprise us chemistry happens in the world around us not just in lab but chemistry happens everywhere even we can say that our kitchen is a first chemistry lab why is it important chemistry makes our tomorrow chemistry makes our future the things we have in a life is nothing but a chemistry for example we have a fruits they contain monosaccharides fructose the vitamins these are things which relate our food with chemistry then the sugar cane which contains sucrose having a glucose and fructose then your maltose or disaccharide maltose then your milk contain disaccharide lactose potatoes contain polysaccharide starch these things make your chemistry what it is here this picture says that here are plants which relate can your biology this is a flask this is a flask in containing a solution a books and then this is your test tubes this is a bulb which relates your physics you can relate math physics biology each and every subject with your chemistry so first we will see what has chemistry ever done for you what chemistry done for you even if you haven't studied chemistry in your life till yet and you don't like chemistry but i can hope that after watching my video you will try to love this subject chemistry so what chemistry ever done us we'll see chemistry ever done us for by preparing the medicines antibiotics like batteries then it control the birth control for by using the medicines by manufacturing of medicines then catalytic converters are used then fertilizers are made by the chemistry then fuels are used and purified with the help of chemistry then the plastics we use nowadays we are using green plastic that is also a contribution from chemistry then the screens you use your leds your lcds your laptop screens your mobile screens all are from chemistry then your water treatment we use chlorine water and other things ro system these are related things with your chemistry so what the concepts of chemistry chemistry is defined as a term which is used in the nature for study of properties and structure of matter even the interaction between the substances is a chemistry so we can say chemistry is the stuff around us about how we can think about the stuff in the scientific terms so for that we can mainly divide this chemistry in a four parts the, that is your inorganic chemistry organic chemistry physical chemistry and analytical chemistry your inorganic chemistry is concerned with the non living things with the salts with the elements with the compound of the elements your organic chemistry is link up with the organic compounds or the substances which are from living organisms then your physical chemistry is concerned with the explanation the theorems the theories given which are used to relate your organic chemistry and inorganic chemistry then our analytical chemistry is the branch of chemistry which is concerned with the qualitative and quantitative analysis of a chemical substance that how you classify the chemical substance according to the quantity according to the quality now i think this is a good example that this is a smart chemistry in your everyday life if you are not a student still you use chemistry 
Like for example, when electrician use wires, we have a house, there are wires everywhere. These wires are made up of copper metal. So these wires are chemistry. The paints we use, the chemicals, this is the chemistry. The ply of wood is a chemistry. Then the window adhesive, these glass panes, these fiber panes is nothing but a chemistry. Then these lights, they are used is a chemistry. Then your all the household materials deal with the chemistry then your plastic floor this type of a polymer made by the chemistry you can see the plastic piping is also good good example of a chemistry your insulation materials then again an example of chemistry this plastic fencing we done in our houses is just an example of chemistry so i don't think so this house is there if these things are not in this universe so these things are possible because of advancement in your chemistry so we can say chemistry provides utility and durability to the buildings and construction of industries so this is the best example you can see so we can say chemistry related to our paper plastic clothes cooking food soap batteries petrol concrete pills your medicines all are a good examples of your chemistry okay these are some good features or a portrait of a things where a food is a chemistry your clothes are a chemistry you building a material with concrete cement bricks is a good example or a good product by the chemistry your transportation is helpful with the help of chemistry agriculture growth is a good example of a chemistry then your medicinal improvement day to day life is a good example of a chemistry then this is uh, what a girl's product mainly you can say these all things these chemicals these shining material this is just a good example by the chemistry so in chemistry we can say firstly we will have observation then we get a caution when we have observed then we think of it and we have a question then according to the question we get hypothesis then we do experiment and after experiment we can analyze and then we get the result that is it right or wrong this flow table or a chart you can use in your life by just thinking that is this brick a chemistry this is your observation that is a solid then we will see the cement the water is used the concrete is used then the hypothesis then you do experiment you check that all the things are a solid liquid so these are a matter so matter is a chemistry then you conclude yeah this is a chemistry by this scenario you can check each and everything surrounding to yourself right now and you will observe that all the things are chemistry so after this you will conclude that yes we live in a chemistry and by chemistry so chemistry is a good example where we have discussed each and everything starting from this minerals vitamins fruits vegetables all the things these are just a good example of chemistry sometime it can be good sometime it can be bad but if you use according to your requirement then the things are good but if you use excess of material then it will be bad like for example alcohol alcohol is good when you have any problem related to cold the alcohol percentage is used in your cold medicines even alcohol is good for making sanitizers as you all know nowadays what is the function of these sanitizers so it is a good but if you have this in a large quantity or a habit then it will be your bad same with the medicines you can have a medicine of a fever it is good but if you get addicted to the medicines then these are your drugs and this is not good for health this is this the role of chemistry in your human life this medicines help you to get overcome the problems these medicines then vaccines are there so the substances which used for the purpose of prevention diagnose and treatment of a cure is known as a drug and this drug is given by a chemistry these are the cleaning materials used by us in our household purposes is given by a chemistry these are the elements so these elements we use in our daily life but we don't know this hydrogen this is present in stars and sun because of that they were present they exist then this helium which is used for a balloons 
this lithium is used for a batteries then boron used for the sports equipment then carbon is used as we have uh, carbohydrates and then all the molecules which help us to live is nothing but a carbon then the nitrogen it is present in protein oxygen we breathe fluorine is present in toothpaste then neon is used for the signs then aluminum is used by planes silicon is used phosphorus is used in sulfur in chlorine this is your argon so it help in a lighting of bulb then this gallium atom is used as a light emitting diodes then germanium for a semiconductor is a good example of a semiconductor even for electronics then arsenic is a poison then selenium bromine is for a photographic flame then krypton one some more elements are there this is your electric motor magnet europium for television color these all things are this is m mri diagnosis used for this and then polonium used for nuclear weapons so this is a radio wave so these are little bit for 30 to 40 elements which i am discussing here but there are many more elements which you used in your life but you don't know you don't relate actually the things so this is a good example of a salts how the salts exist and where they are used some salts are used for, for a photography some are used in industries for a chemical some in uh, fertilizers in agriculture some we use in our food like nacl or sodium chloride then some used in uh, medicinal purposes pop is a plaster of paris used for the when there is a problem or a break breakage of a bone it is used for a plaster then food preservative salts are used to preserve food for many days the materials we are having at our home packed material from the market is just given by using these salts of sodium nitrate sodium sulfide sodium citrate which help them to preserve for a longer time then this is the example this we have seen in our daily life day to day life this is what is happening here plants so the process is photosynthesis which occur in the plants in group daily even but uh, you haven't observed according to that then the material we cook get converts from raw material to a eatable food is a cooking is example of chemistry this is a type of reaction which occur day to day life or a daily but you never observe it similarly this is a combustion here this get melts after burning this is a digestion when you eat food so these are the chemical reaction which occur in day to day life we can say 24 by 7 these are the examples this is a baking the cake we pastries we eat just by the baking the emotions we have is example of a chemistry then the ice floats in water is a example of chemistry then the soap and detergents we use for cleaning is a example of chemistry even the best example is your cosmetics you can see the color different colors that make girls happy is just a example of chemistry then this painting we use this colors and this all the food additives we use is just a good example of chemistry so i can say we should love chemistry or we can i can say just we live chemistry so how the chemistry is linked up with all the subjects you cover i assure you that there is a no subject in this whole world that you can't correlate it with chemistry okay so the base is your chemistry chemistry related with law education pharmaceutical physics environment material polymers business forensic theory nano materials and biochemistry medicines biology toxicology all the things are just a chemistry even you can think of that maths you can say that there is no chemistry in maths but i can say yes it is there in the numbers we have only 0 to 9 digits but that 10 digits make whole the scenario in infinite numbers if you are going to use 2 and 3 it will mean 23 by re- replacing 3 with 2 or 2 with 3 we get 32 so this is a chemistry between the digits and we get uh, another number so the conclusion is that we can say that chemistry is all around us but the only thing that we need to observe it carefully and notice everything around us we should appreciate appreciate the word of the scientist who observe those things and wrote us that this is the thing before this chemistry the our world is not colorful but after the invention of chemistry you can say the world is full of colors this is a good example i think after um, discussing this lecture with you now i think you are able to check the chemistry the things around you right now we are sitting relate with the chemistry 
the coffee or a tea you are having contain caffeine is a chemistry you are having the chips they contains nacl the salt that is a chemistry you are having a water that is h2o again chemistry you are using any type of a material electronics which contain battery is of a chemistry then you are using pencil pen ink or the graphite used for pencil or pen is a chemistry you are having a orange or a lemon that is a good source of vitamin c so all the things are just chemistry so we can conclude that chemistry in everyday life is that our life start up with chemistry and even ends with chemistry so this is the scenario of the all the subjects we have here is just related your chemistry so we can compete that we can say that chemistry is where c stands for community because it lives in community if you are living in a community you are in a community then all the things we get is just by the chemistry chemistry gives you good health it's round good it makes your environment good it helps to have a uh, medicines it help us to establish industries it helps to study science it help us to give a job in a teaching it helps to go for a research and you if you are not present then chemistry is not there so you are a chemistry or a chemistry lives in you whatever you can say is absolutely correct so even the crime labs in nowadays after the advancement in the technology are using the chemistry so you can go for uh, in your uh, crime labs in future for a job profession if you have an interest then you should study chemistry so we can say chemistry and us without chemistry it would be extremely hard for us to live as we know we need chemistry and chemical for every day to day life when we eat food chemical are the main source in which help us to assist the decompose the food our organs are protected by harmful acids with the layer of chemical in the form of mucus so without it our organ would slowly dissolve away but chemicals and chemistry may also harm us such the acids will find in our stomach so this here i am going to suggest you that use chemistry you use chemistry even you accept it or not but don't try to make bad chemistry or use of bad chemistry like this if you are a biology student then don't mind it i am just telling that the bad chemistry can spoil your biology for a day means if he know good chemistry then he know how to mix the things then this reaction will not spoil his face for a day so this is a bad chemistry can spoil your biology for a day if a bad chemistry can spoil your biology for a day so if you use bad chemistry for your future then it will spoil the nation also so try to use chemistry in a good way so that it can help to the universe this is the periodic table uh, at the time of we have a 100 103 elements at that time scientists can say that we have only 100 elements but we make the entire planet you have now more than 100 elements so don't try to waste these elements and use them carefully thank you hope you like this video keep share and like the chemistry as you like your life thank you